I do feel betrayed because, I mean, I try to make it as safe as possible for her. She has food every single night. She has money when she wants to go out. Like, Hope does not have such a bad life as she thinks she has. Jen's body, she's a very nice girl, but they are married, and she's got to stick to her marriage vows. She can't just throw the towel in every time she has a bit of a hiccup and go back to her home country. Okay, okay, what's going on, people? <laughs> you know, when somebody says that I feel betrayed, honestly, that tells me one thing straight off the bat. That's the, the first thing that I think of is, so basically, he was hoping that as long as you had money to look after your woman, she was going to be able to basically stay by your side no matter what and basically obey you. I mean, we're talking about old school, old school stuff, you know what I mean? Back in the day, you know, the man was the provider and the woman did everything else right. Okay, cool. And in that situation, women never left because where could they go to? They couldn't necessarily work or if they could work, they couldn't really earn enough money to do certain things and bloody daddy, daddy, da, da, da. It depends on what past you want to look at, right? But I'm just keeping it there. So I understand him ha still having this old school type of mentality, but uh, guess what though, buddy? In the modern world, you need more than that now to secure a relationship because, well, women know that nowadays they're able to work and they're able to provide for themselves. But also on top of that, because she's got family who are more than happy to support and help her as well, she knows that she's also got that has a uh, get out free card. You see what I'm saying? But to be fair, I will say this though. I'm with Wayne's dad. At the end of the day, he got married. And uh, from, what I from what I understand, even though I've never been married myself, but the vows go something along, not the vows, sorry, the words go something along like, through thickness and health or thickness and sick people who've been married you know what i'm talking about man and it's crazy because now it's getting to that little challenging part what does holly want to do she just wants to bounce and that is a problem you know what i mean and to be honest with you if i'm wayne i'm taking my losses i'm like you know what fair enough there's no point in me being with somebody that wants to just run at the first sight of nothing and this is the crazy part she wants to run because she's bored legit she wants to leave the relationship because she is bored not because the relationship is toxic, not because he treats her badly, purely because she's bored. <laughs> uh, Holly's a funny person, honestly. Like, I, I do wonder what goes around in her head, to be honest with you. Because the reason that she's choosing to want to... Well, okay, let's not get too serious, okay? She, just, she, she, she doesn't want to leave the relationship. She just wants to leave South Africa because she's bored. Which I do understand. But you decided to marry this man in South Africa with the principle that you was going to stay in South Africa. Now, because your body don't like it, you want to jump ship that quick, expecting him to want to do exactly the same thing. Now, last week I did say, or which week it was, I did say that, you know, I don't see nothing wrong with that. It would be nice for him to get an experience of what life would be like in America because you never know. It might work out better for both of them. But at the same time, though, the agreement, but it seems it was that she would move to South Africa and then that would be it. So really and truly, I understand why he feels betrayed, but at the same time, I wouldn't linger on that feeling because relationships, marriages, <laughs> they require more than just you providing, buddy. That's just the reality of it. But we continue. I feel like I'm losing parts of myself. I don't want to stay somewhere. I'm not happy. Life's really short. And I don't know what to tell him, but I can't live like this. But again, like you could live in America. You could, you could take the steps to do that. You could be happy there. And then I wouldn't see you until my video gets approved. Is that what you're saying? Feels like okay. Well, I can go back to America. It's the easy way out, you know. It's easy for you to go live in America. No, it's to go not. Back. It's not easy. Yeah, it's, it's easy for you. I mean, you no, can. It's easy for you, me. But I have to go back to your family support you. You know what though? I feel I, I find it quite fascinating how Holly doesn't believe that what she wants to do is the easy way out. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. We've got two perspectives happening right now. Holly's not saying that I want to leave our marriage. She's saying that I want to leave South Africa and go to America and be with you. Wayne, on the other hand, he's taking it as, no, 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 no. You want to just leave me because you know that I will not go to America because this is where I want to be. This is where my family's at. This is where my best friend's at. Obviously, he's dad and all that kind of stuff. So this is the issue with the conversation. The issue with the conversation is that his whole, his whole angle is that I'm not willing to have a long-term, a long-term, uh, a long-distance relationship with my wife. I married you so you could be here with me all the time. We've already done the long distance. I didn't like it. I hate it. But now we're here. This is what we're doing. If you leave for America, I then got to wait God knows how long to my visa comes to me to come and see you anyway. And then when that happens, I then got to live with the idea of the fact that you have to look after him, which I don't want because I always want to be the provider because that's what I want to do. So therefore, it's going to bother him that he won't be able to work. So I understand why his perspective is exactly where it's at. You know what I mean? But in relationships, there needs to be a room for some form of compromise that's going to work. And I just feel like for these two, if there's going to be any compromise, sadly, to be honest with you, it's going to have to be on Holly's side because Holly's the one that's already made the choice to up and leave her life in America to be with him, okay? 
And therefore that was set in stone. Okay. And also on top of that, she knows that she's with the man that has to be working. He has to be the provider, not a man that wants to sit around and be a bum. Like a lot of other people that we've seen come on this network. So if there's going to be a many compromise, it's going to be the same compromise that Holly's already made. And that is staying in South Africa to make sure that they continue their relationship. If she leaves, that's her basically quitting the relationship. And now again, in her eyes, it won't be the case, which I understand. But in his eyes, it's going to be the case because he's not willing to do that, which I also understand. So it does make you wonder, isn't it? Is it a case of somebody taking the easy way out? Or is it a matter of where someone in the relationship is, 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 is refusing to understand where someone else is coming from? You see what I'm saying? But we continue. I just, like I sometimes I just wish it never happened, honestly. You just wish I never got married? Yeah, things are gonna be like this. My wife's gonna live away really, from me. Really, that's how you feel. I'm just saying, like if I knew this is gonna happen, I would never go involved with America. That's what I'm saying. Things, if I knew things are so difficult, I would never done this. I don't really think there's any need to be saying things like that. To be saying that you know, I wish I didn't do this. You know, to be saying that you know, I should have really, never really got married to an American. I don't really think there's any need to say that. To be honest with you, I just feel like sometimes people forget that life is all about trial and error. And um, sometimes it's going to work, sometimes it's not going to work, you know what I mean? And it's just a matter of how you're going to walk away from it and then also pick yourself up after you've walked away from it or after you've been left. It's as simple as one, two, three, do you see what I'm saying? So uh, there was definitely no need for that. I felt like that was just too too harsh, um, you know what I mean? And I just felt like talk about a way to just, you know, yeah, it's, it's just not needed. It's, it's, it's very toxic energy, energy that I don't really F with, you know what I mean? So I do understand why Holly was in a position where she felt like she wanted to storm off. You know, um, I think a lot of people are probably better off storming off than rather than staying there and letting it linger in their mind. Because, boy, I can't imagine how that can mentally destroy certain people in their mind, knowing that your partner just said to you that they, in a nutshell, regret marrying you because, well, yeah, <laughs> you know. Now, of course, I'm not saying that Wayne is in a wrong to feel the way he feels. He's definitely entitled to feel how he feels because he marries someone expecting that person to be with them. And you marry someone expecting that person to stay with them for thick and thin. And that hasn't been the case. He's now with somebody who wants to basically leave. So I understand where he's coming from 1000%, but I don't feel like it's something that he should have voiced out loud. Or at least if he was going to, you're going to have to word it in a whole different way. Okay. I just felt the way he worded it and even the way he tried to recover or the way he worded it just really didn't help in a nutshell. Do you know what I mean? It was just insult after insult with that one. So yeah, Wayne definitely needs to needs to work on his delivery of certain things because goddamn boy, <laughs> you was dangerous. She's okay with having his long distance thing going. I'm not okay with that. If Polly goes to United States, it could be the end of us. And boom, bam. See, he's having a whole conversation about we're not doing long distance, otherwise we're done. Polly, different conversation. Which is, which is interesting because a lot of people have wondered for a while now, and I was going to make a video about it, to be fair, where people have been wondering if they are still together because Holly is obviously back in the States from what I understand, okay? And uh, it just and also Wayne uh, deleted his social media accounts, and before he did that, he also then announced that he was done with just everything. So that was a big indication to it as well. So it's interesting for this episode to come out now, though, just when I was thinking about making that video, because this is kind of now giving me an even bigger picture that I, to the fact that maybe these two are currently not together. Maybe I'll make that video now anyway, given the fact that I have more, literally be more of a evidence with it. But uh, with that being said, though, let me know what you're thinking and uh, we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.